This video is going to deal with creating a lower third graphic from within Photoshop. So we're going to start by organizing our workspace a little bit better. Um, this is very kind of ad hoc. Uh, so I'm just going to go into workspace. Let's just use graphic and web. And that gives us uh, something that's a little bit more streamlined. The next step is to go in and create a new file. So just like Illustrator with Photoshop, we have a number of templates we can draw on. Uh, in this case, we want to go to film and video. And of course, we're using uh, 1080p as our video standard. So we want to do something that is 1920 by 1080. And that is a preset that's available to us. Uh, we can go in and change the name. So uh, I'm just going to call this uh, lower third. Whoops, lower third basic. And you can pick what you want your background contents to be. So white, black, or background color. I'm just going to go with white. Um, you also have the option here of adding a color profile, which you know can be kind of handy. And you have the option of setting the pixel aspect ratio. We don't have to do that because square pixels is what we're using for HT TV anyways. Uh, click on create and you will get a new document. Now, one of the nice things about the template in Photoshop is you not only get the ruler showing up automatically when you create it, but you also get a set of um, title safe guides added automatically, which is nice. Here you'll see two sets and the difference between the two sets, the inner one, is what's known as the title safe guide. So any text should be within that area. And the outer one is what's known as the action safe guide. And you'll notice it comes in more on the sides. And again, that is so it's going to be safe for uh, more standard definition screens. Here, um, we'll leave the background and white background in place for now, but we will start by creating a shape. Now for the shape, when we're in the when we're in the graphic and web workspace, we have all the shape tools available over here. So I just have to go to the square. Um, when that's selected, I can pick how I want it to to use it. I want to create a, a shape with it. This will automatically create a, a new layer. I can pick what I want the fill to be. And I have color swatches here. I can bring up the color picker. Uh, I also have the option of just creating it as a gradient. This last one with the zebra stripes, oh, that is um, kind of a pattern which you're not going to ever want to use for a background graphic for text. I'm just going to go with the with a, an essential dark color, so just the blue. No stroke is fine. If you want to add any kind of decorative stroke to this, for screen graphics, as a general rule, make it a minimum of five pixels. And I'll just add one so we've gone through the process. Here, um, maybe I'll make it a, a gradient, just make it a little bit more interesting. And let's make it super colorful just to see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to draw the graphic. And when you're drawing a graphic, it can extend all the way to the edge of the frame but you're doing so with the understanding that the it's not going to your text isn't going to extend back that far just the graphic and for some reason this has not come through as a larger stroke so i'm just going to make that a little bit larger so it it just has a little bit more presence so i've got my rectangle and i can go in and edit it the same way or in a way similar to how you would do that in illustrator uh, I have a direct selection tool here. So if I wanted to just uh, select one point, um, and drag it out, I could do something a little bit different like that. I don't actually want to do that. So here, make sure I have it selected first. So the path is selected. Go in and use the add anchor point tool directly on the path. In it drag it out. You'll notice it comes out curved. Just switch to the convert point tool and click on it. 
and it's now completely straight if that's what you want. 